every component of the bicycle contributes to the way it rides. Tires, however, are the literal connection between a bike and the ground. And perhaps the most underrated element when it comes to the ways in which every inch of terrain is experienced and reacted to. And of course, every tire delivers a different ride. Founded in 2001, E13 is a small, rider-owned company based out of Petaluma, California, that produces an array of bicycle components. Their foray into the tire world, however, began only three years ago with an effort to create something light and strong with unrivaled grip. The company's Taiwan offices serve as their base of operations and a place where CEO Joel Peters can work closely with engineers like Eli Wu to develop everything from bash guards to tread designs. The quest for a pattern that limits rolling resistance and increases cornering stability has the E13 team continually finding ways to innovate and improve their tires. After extensive research and testing, E13 landed their manufacturing operations in Thailand, thanks to a compound developed by V Rubber. Originally designed for the underground moped drag racing scene in Thailand, V's slow rebound rubber needed only a slight tweak in chemistry to be best suited to trails around the world. V CEO Bai Sukhanjanapong and plant production manager Samar oversee the plant's daily operations and 4,000 plus employees. In order to turn the tread patterns the engineers have created into a tire, a cast must first be made. Copper blocks are machined into dies by employees like Sai Yan to create sections of a tread pattern. Then it's off to the spark department, where Bok Nua preps the block for electric discharge machining. This process creates a rapidly recurring current between the copper and steel to facilitate controlled erosion. The result is the inverse of the die imprinted into the mold. The life of an E13 tire begins 50 miles outside of Bangkok at V's rubber plantation. Rubber trees take nearly seven years to reach full maturity, but once tapped, each tree produces an average of 19 pounds of rubber every year for up to 30 years. In traditional fashion, the natural rubber is harvested by workers like Ms. Jaluan using hand tools and buckets during cooler times of the day when the raw latex flows more easily and is slower to dry. Rubber differs from most tree sap in that rather than transporting nutrients, it works as a protective agent in sealing off wounds in the tree's soft bark. Once it hardens in the collection phase, it's known as cup lump. Buckets are then emptied into trucks, transported to the rubber factory, and laid out for inspection. Workers remove debris from the load before the cup lump is left out to sun dry and cure for weeks or even months. The cup lump then undergoes the vulcanization process in order to achieve the ideal properties for the final product. Rubber blocks are then shipped to the V rubber factory for compound mixing, where specific blends of chemical agents are added. After the rubber blocks are heated and extruded into belts, they make their way to calendaring, an extensive task that involves as many as seven employees including Juan Pornsayam. During this process, the rubber compound is rolled to a thickness of 0.2 to 0.4 millimeters before being fused with nylon threads for structure, creating a ply that will become tire casings. Single ply tires deliver a lighter, more responsive feel favored by cross-country riders, while two or even three plies can be combined for rigidity and the ability to withstand the demanding forces of enduro and downhill racing. Jia Xin oversees the combination of two different rubber compounds that form what will eventually be the tire's tread. These compounds vary in their softness and tack, depending on what is desired for the final tire. This forms the tread cap, which is run through water for cooling before being rolled onto spools by KO.
Every E13 tire is laid out by hand, a process that is as much an art as it is a science. Tire builders like Ulai Wan have a minimum of eight years of experience before they can operate a building drum, as it requires a sharp eye and considerable attention to detail. The casing is the first layer added to the drum, followed by a Kevlar bead. The machine keeps the tire under continual tension as the tread cap and sidewall reinforcements are added layer by layer with adhesive in between. Once the layup is complete, it's considered a green tire. Experienced workers can build as many as 60 green tires in a day. Before green tires are ready for curing, they must first be fitted with a hot patch. Bao matches each tire with its respective markings and E13 branding. The curing process is what gives the tire its shape and tread. To fill the green tire out, it's fitted with an air bladder before both are placed within the mold. When pressurized and heated to the intended temperature for seven minutes, the tire conforms to the mold and cures to its final shape. Min Min and his coworkers can cure up to two dozen tires at a time, depending on the curing process. Once removed from the mold, the tire is allowed to cool off before it moves on to quality control. E13 monitors the quality of each and every tire with a number of tests, the first of which checks for any holes or leaks. The new tire is mounted on a rim, inflated to 36 PSI, and dunked in water. If any bubbles appear, Golf clearly marks the defect and sets the tire aside. For tires that pass, it's onto the wobble test, where it's again mounted on a rim. This time though, Golf Pon Sak and Song K8 bring it to a truing stand and examine the tire under rotation, looking for any warping or inconsistencies. A few random tires from every batch are also tested for durability. Small sections of the tire are tested for glue strength, cured rubber quality, and abrasion longevity, all factors that will inevitably be put to the ultimate test on the trails. Employees like Dao Leong and Ot monitor the tests and record their findings so E13 can continue improving its products. Tires that successfully pass all quality control tests are deemed ready to hit the dirt. Each tire is folded and tagged by Sili Papa, Saw, and Sinisa before being boxed up and shipped around the world. Through years of research and development, and by carefully choosing their materials and methods, E13 has made a name for itself within the world of tires. With a little tweaking, the rubber compound that was originally developed for Thailand's underground moped racing scene has found its way around the globe as the means by which so many mountain bikers find connection with the trail. <laughs>